प्रेम सुवर्ण बिहारी लाल की जय श्री आदि शक्ति माता की जय श्री राम एवरीबॉडी दिस इवनिंग आज वी एंटर इन टू डिस्कोर्स ऑन दिस गायत्री जयंती ऑन दी फुल मून डे इन दिस मंथ ऑफ श्रावण इन दी ब्राइट हाफ द एंडिंग ऑफ दी मंथ ऑफ श्रावण गायत्री इज सेलिब्रेटेड गायत्री देवी इन मदर ऑफ द वेदर्स and in the form of the gayatri mantra many people know of the mantra but somehow the history of this devi has eluded our people because it is not the common discourse it is not the common form we don't see it in every temple tonight permit me to discuss the history of this mother and some of her intricacies teaching you about gayatri and the different forms of gayatri the uses uses of these gayatri mantras very powerful very useful i will discuss a couple before we enter further let me invite you to class be hands as we do short invocation mantras as we have a lot to cover tonight oh गजाननम भूतघनादि सेवित कपेत जंबो पलचार भक्षित उमासुत शो कविनाशकारक नमा विगनेश्वर पार पंकज सर्वंगलमे शिव सर्वत साधिके शरण्यत्रिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवा एवरीबॉडी ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवा ओम नमो भगवते वासुदे Dear Lord, tonight as we get into the, the story, the discourse, the katha of Gayatri Mata, as your devotees are about to listen, dear Mother, as your children will learn, as they are reminded of your holy history, may you bless them, may you protect them, may you safeguard them, may you grant their desires. in many homes many people have lost loved ones to this virus in many homes people are fighting this virus in many homes people have lost their job in many homes they are preparing for school to reopen and some parts school have already reopened parents remain at home afraid dear lord dear mother tonight as we do your discourse May you please bring solace may you bring protection and may you come into each and every one of your children's home tonight those viewing and bless them Shri Adi Shakti Mata ki jai Tonight we begin with the Gayatri mantra let's begin at the end of the story and we'll work our way back Gayatri Jayanti is the moment the Gayatri is pronounced The Gai tree has been created, Rig Veda Mangal tree. In the sixty-second hymn, we hear of Gai tree mantra for the first time. And in that Rig Veda, as it was the original Veda, and then it was mentioned in subsequent Veda by the Saptarishi at different points. It was first created by Vishwamitra. This very popular. 
character in our dharma. We're going to hear a little bit about that. And then, who is this guy from Mata? The mantra we know, the mother we don't so much. Let's begin with this simple prayer. Om Bhura Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Valinyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Deo Yona Prachodayat Basically it means, Mother, we bow to you. You who are the energy, you who are the light, the creator, the glory of the creator, you who have given energy to create this universe, you are worthy of worship. Who is the embodiment of knowledge and light? Who is the remover of sin and ignorance? May you please bless. May you give my intellect, my head, my mind a blessing. O Divine Mother, our hearts are loaded with darkness and sin. Kindly make this darkness go away. Distance us and brighten us from the internal. Prem Simula Shri Adi Shakti Mataki. In different section, as we move forward, there is different sections that speak of this Gaitri. Mukta Vidruma Hema Dwalaka Chayan Mukha Traya Sayanir. Yuktam Mindu Nibanda Ratna Mukuktam Tatwarata Artava Mikam Yam Gaitri Vada Bayankusha Kasa Shubram Kapalam Gunam Sanka Chakra Atarva Vindaya Yugalam Hasti Vandayate Bhaji Gayatri Mata has five faces, five heads. I meditate on the five-faced goddess Gayatri, whose faces are of the following hue. One face is pearl white. One has a coral, a darker white, golden color, blue color, black color, white as stone. Each face has three eyes in it. Be that with jewels set in the crescent moon, moon shape. These symbols represent the truth the great truth, holding in ten hands, postures, poses, mudras that grant refuge and boons to all those that come to her. Using the gourd, the whip, the skull, the rope, shank, discus, and two lotus flowers. This is the form of Gayatri. Those five heads, Mukta, Vidruma, Hema, Nila, and Dhavla. These are the names of that mana. When we use this Gayatri Mantra in all prayers, it is said to be the remover of sin. And Gayatri Mata did come about to remove the burden. And you will hear that just now. She removes the burden of sin from her person. Her prayer is an intricate one. When you're doing her sadhana, people would take oil on a day like today. They'll discuss it another day to prepare you for it. People take oil, sometimes they use mustard oil, homemade coconut oil, sometimes ghee and saffron, and they would rub and massage their bodies after having bath. And they would sit down on kush grass on a Friday. This is done every Friday for 12 weeks. And in doing the sadhana, they might put kush grass and then put yellow cloth, sitting down there, meditate upon mother. And they do marjana. Marjana is a type of mantra, um abhutishta. Different mantras where you spring, sprinkle water on yourself to purify yourself. And you chant and worship mother. Some people do murti puja. They offer prasad with fruits, grains, pulses. And then you do the various type of gaitri depending on what you're praying for. So Baba, what you're talking about. As you would know, there's, there's a gaitri for nearly every form. But there's a benefit when chanted properly to these forms. So we have the normal Gayatri, the one I just chanted, that is used for purification. So in your prayers at home with your Baba, remember correctly, Ganesh Puja, Durga Puja, Saraswati Puja, whatever Puja, usually at the end, a minimum of three, Om Bhurbhuva Swaha, at the end, 
Dear God, if in the preparation for the prayer, in the prayer, if I made sin via the words I was speaking, please forgive me. If I got sin because of the, the acts that I've done, deeds, please forgive me. And if I did sin via the thoughts that I had, please forgive me. My puja is come down and but please don't let my mistakes hamper the results that I am getting. Prem Sabaloshri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. Did you know that's why you use the Gayatri in your puja? It says that every time you chant Gayatri one time, the sins of 24 hours is burnt away. When you do 24 times, 54 times, 108 times, so much more sin is being burnt away. If a person, for example, utilizes, and each devta, as I was saying before, has Gayatri, has a form of Gayatri. So when a person has within their heart court matter they want to win, they have trouble at work, they want to fix something in their house, they are under some form of banditry or attack. Om Rama Dutaya Vidmahi Vayu Putraya Dimahi Tano Hanuman Prachodaya. And that vrat, using the Hanuman Gai tree, you make kheer where you're boiling milk. Put the rice, put the different ingredients, ghee, dahi, sugar, honey, and you turn it and you get it to make kheer, not sweet rice. Sweet rice we boil in water. Kheer we boil in milk. And we make this as the what is going to offer in the hawan. 108 times you're going to say swas in that prayer for eight days. Every time you're saying the guy tree in that form of Hanumanji, you pray for what you want. Further, for, 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 for if a person is praying, for example, for the help of Lakshmi Mata, Lakshmi Devi would bless a person where yellow again is being offered when you're using the guy tree in that form where she's seated on elephant or surrounded by elephant Gaja Lakshmi Mata where we use the word shring as her mantra as her beach mantra the mantra goes Om Burgo Aswa Om Tat Savitur Varinyam Burgo Deva Syadimahi Diyo Na Prachodaya Shring Swaha that Lakshmi guy tree a person would use it please bless me with health wealth joy peace and fulfillment of my desires and on this saturday for these 12 weeks when people do this sadhana or this puja or this vrat to lakshmi mata using this form of prayer if the person is praying not only for money pay attention but for health as well it is possible when a person wants to have children and there's a delay in having children we utilize that form of the guy tree where we are praying, where we are praying using the guy tree correlated to Varun Devta and there are two forms. Om Bhur Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodayam. The beach mantra Yam correlates to the seed of Varun Devta. That is one form. Another form that is popular, that is used, and is quite effective. Om Yam Yam Yam. Bur Bhuaswa Tat Savitur Varinyam Bargo Devas Yadi Mahi Diyoyona Prachodayat. In that one, you feed fishes with the hero. Saying a prayer, you offer like a pinna through the thumb finger on the right hand side, like this, a little bit, a little bit, and you feed fishes. And in doing it, people achieve children. In the most dire situation, in dire circumstances. This Gaitri mantra, if the sadhana is done, how is the person supposed to do it? Do 10 times, 12 times, 27 times, 54 times, whatever amount you could do in the morning Sunday, evening Sunday. Sunday is that time where it is neither morning or night, dusk. Dawn, sorry. And when it is neither day nor night, dusk. When it is twilight. That is the better word to use for children. Twilight hour. Hindus get up and they do jap at that hour. When you go Brahmura before the before the Sunday hour, it is for Satvic prayer. When you go before the Brahmura, meaning before three o'clock in the dead of night, that is when people do tantric prayer. That type of prayer, depending on what you're praying for, there is forms of Gayatri that are correlated to the Saptamatrika, the Ashtamatrika. And people use these type of prayer for different and nefarious type purpose for damage for harm it does exist 
the next question is where does where does this Gayatri mantra first come from it is said that Vishwamitra was once a king a king is a Shatri this is the same character this is the same person that carried Sri Ram to Janakpur many years after Janakpur and he ends up in the Swayambar of Sita Mata and by the insistence of Vishwamitra Muni Sri Ram ends up with long story short Sita Mata as his consort but in the beginning Vishwamitra was a king and he had gone to see Vashish Muni who is a Brahmrishi Brahmrishi meaning highest form of Rishi coming from Brahma himself knowing the truth the embodiment of truth powerful and he saw that when Vishwamitra Raja Vishwamitra came Vashish Muni, the Guru of Sri Ram, it turns out, says, I have Kamdinu, the cow that gives wishes, grants wishes, and they started to manifest different food stuff, takari fruits, etc. And this opened the eyes of Vishwamitra. Vishwamitra wanted only cow. And Vashish Muni very calmly says, No, only when you are a Brahmrishi can you attain such a gift from my father. Vashish's father is Lord Brahma. Only he can give that gift. But you have to become Brahmish. You have to be that type, that caliber, in order to have such a gift. Vishwamitra becomes angered by this answer. And he starts to think about how can he attain this 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 Kamdenu. And he thinks about going to take the cow by force and the Muni says try it if you can Vashish Muni says try it and as he held on to the rope to pull the cow over a thousand soldiers appeared by the blessings of Kam Denu holding great amount of weapons in his hand ready to destroy ready to kill Vishwamitra Vishwamitra had to retreat, he had to run, he felt very ashamed because he was defeated. And though he thought, you now as he's by himself, he thought I, you know, I was a ruler, I thought I had all the money, I thought I had all the kingship, kingdom, all these things. But still, the Brahm Tej of this older person, Sage Vashish, he was able to make me cry like a little child and run home. All these days I have been blinded by power and position and now I realize they are nothing. They have no value. And thinking like this, he wants to reach, if the thought came in his mind that I want the real power. I want the real blessedness. I want to be a Brahmrishi. Thinking like this, as he contemplated how he had wasted so much time in his life, he looks at the power of Maya. One thing you'd learn from Vishwamitra is the power of Maya and how it encap encapsulate a person. It keeps you bounded. Vishwamitra thinks about family, children, kingdom, wealth, everything, everybody. And then one day he says, you know what? He's very restless in the palace. Cannot stop thinking about this experience he had with Vashish. And he gives up. Everything, the kingdom, his title, his family, his children, he renounces everything. And he says, I will become. I will become a Brahmish. And he goes on the peaks of the Himalayas, bathing in the ice cold water, and quietly sat down for meditation. And as he sat there, after very long time practicing pranayam thinking of breathing controlling the breath doing self-analysis and all these things controlling the mind 
he attained great amount of power and energy. Mahare Baba himself appears in front of him. And Mahare Baba asks him what, what, what it is, what it is you want. And he says, I wish to become Brahm Rishi. And it is when he says this, Lord Shiva tells him, you will attain that Brahm Rishi when that same Vashish Muni bestows that upon you. You will be that Brahm Rishi once you have the blessings of Vashish. Vishwamitra thinks to himself, oh, how will I become Brahm Rishi if he, he is my enemy? He, you know, he had this army and they pulled the sword and everything. If he's alive, I'll never become Brahm Rishi. Still polluted by negative thoughts. Even now. He says, you know what? I cannot become Brahm Rishi so long as Vashish Muni is alive. For this reason, better I go and kill, kill Vashish. And he goes to where the ashram of Vashish Muni, Arundhati, is his wife. And as he stood hiding outside the, uh, the, 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 the chambers then, the ashram door of Guru and Guru Mai, he listened. As Arundhati asked, Prabhu, Pati, what is bothering you? Your mind seems far. In your morning meditation, you have come back a little perturbed. What's wrong? And Vashish says, Vishwamitra is such a great man. In such a short time, he is nearly to the attainment of the status of Brahmrishi. But, and Arundhati listening, so happy to hear this, she says, But what? What is stopping him from becoming a Brahmrishi? Vashish Muni says, if he would only come and bow, he would have the blessing to become such. Vashish, Vishwamitra now, listening to what Vashish said, the stone drops out of his hand that he was going to kill this man. Listening to the words of Vashish Muni, he feels very ashamed and he threw the rock away. And he goes and he prostrates him, his whole body to the feet of Vashish Muni genuinely, realizing his wrong. And in that moment, Vashish bows down. This same Vashish is the sub, one of the Sapta Rishi that when we listen to, that next week is Janamashtami, but when we listen to the how the Janamashtami, when the Krishna Leela coming to a close, when um, it is time to make the weapon that damages Krishna's foot. It is that same Vashish Muni who speaks to that incarnation of Lord Shiva in Samba form. We were talking about it last week. Vashish Muni touches the hair of Vishwamitra and he says, you have shown to this world that the human spirit is invincible and that person who is rightfully thinking that person accepts no defeat. You have conquered loss. You have conquered anger, greediness, attachment, arrogance, one by one through your austerities, your meditation, and you have lived it for this reason. And at last, your last barrier, jealousy. You overcame the jealousy you held for me because of that cow. And now that you have conquered all your true enemies, I bow to you, Brahm Rishi, Vishwamitra. And in doing so, he put Tilak on the head, on the, on the eyebrow area of Vishwamitra. And in that moment, as the third eye opened, Vishwamitra heard the rhythm of the cosmos and he created the sacred Gayatri Mantra with its seven sections of rhythms and has been celebrated since. 
When you hear any long version of different ways to say it, Om Bhu, Om Bhava, Om Swa, Om Maha, Om Jana, Om Tapa, Om Satyam, Om Tat, Savitura, Varenyam, Bargo, Devasya, Dimahi, Dhyo, Yona, Prachodaya. People fall many times on their spiritual journey. But let him never gain, never give up until he has gained his final goal, which is God. Prem Sri Adi Shakti Mata Ki But if that be history, so what you just heard is a history of the mantra, then who is Gantri? And I was reading and I found this. And I want to, I want to explain a little bit about it. We enter into Matsya Puran. Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatmaya Namo Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Namo Nama Sankyam Sankyam Amala Kapil Dehi Eluchiyate Ek Tattva Tva Maya Kam Kritva Yoga Dvijayatam Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Namo Nama Prem Sabalo Shri Vishnu Bhagavan Ki Jai In this section of Matya Puran we are hearing about Saraswati Mata and her names. In the creative process, in the creation, Brahma had reached a point where he asked, he asked Kapil, other Munis, those people in charge of Sankhya, the knowledge, the philosophy, propagate those things, teach those things, make other forms. He had his Sapta Rishi, the different mind born sons of his, propagate them. And he continued to study a form called Savitri. In mantra, we sometimes interuse Savitri, Gayatri, Saraswati. But let's go how the story started. Brahma talked, taught about and he voted in his mind about this Devi called Savitri. And at that point, whilst praying, whilst thinking of this Devi, his body divided into two. One half was male, which we call Brahma, and the other half was female. The female became known as Savitri, Satrupa. She's also called Saraswati, Gayatri, Brahmani. All these are the same person. Born of his own body. Suddenly, Brahma was enraptured with this Devi. He kept saying what beautiful form as she now out as she was created, she started to circumambulate him out of respect, out of prayerfulness. She's walking around him, see it in your mind. But at that time, Brahma has one head. And as mother is coming around, another head, one with yellow complexion, raised, emerging on the right hand side of his body. Second head was formed. Then, to the back, the third head. As this form, the lips were trembling as he looked at her on the left hand side. Infested as if it were the arrow of calm deal. This fourth head had appeared. And being so engrossed at gazing at savagery in this tapasya, himself in the creation, and as a result of this, this loss of his equilibrium, the illustrious Brahma accepted a fifth head. That fifth head is where the thought of attraction, the thought of, let's say, the wood lust came in. And now Brahma has five heads. We heard the other day how 
the hero takes off one of the head. This is the head that he takes off. And those five heads, he's looking at her and still has time to look at the different creative processes. At the command of the father, the sons of Brahma had been created. And he decides to accept Satruba, Savitri, as his consort. In doing so, it, it is to be understood. Let's hear what he says in this verse. Jai Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jai Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jai Bole Baba Tabasharanam. Jai Samba Sadashiva Tabasharanam. Jai Samba Sadashiva Tabasharanam. Ayantascha Sarva Veda. Nama Drishta Ye Chaturmuk. Gaitri Brahmani Ye Drishta. Bhuta Nigam Yadi Te Tam Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Uma Padi Mahadeva Ki Jai. Listen carefully, everybody. And I want you to leave me a comment if you've ever heard this. Tell me if you've heard this. Tell me tonight where you are messaging from. Share this satsang. Many people, I am telling you, many people will benefit from this. We are about to hear a secret. Get ready. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you are learning. Because of his creative process, he happens to be the creator of the Veda. Similarly, similarly, Gayatri, Savitri, Satrupa, Saraswati, they are the mother of the Veda as well. Therefore, the union between this male and female form is obvious. It is invisible. Wherever there is Brahma, there is Saraswati. Where there is Brahma, there is Gayatri. Where there is Brahma, there is the same lady with different names depending on the situation. They cannot just as the sunshine cannot be separated from the sun. Just as the sunshine cannot be separated from the sun, so too Gaitri, Gaitri Mantra, Gaitri Devi cannot be separated from Brahma. Though Brahma represents all the Ved, it is Savitri or Gaitri is the supreme goddess that gives the power, that gives the power to the Ved. To the prayers when you say prayers and you get the energy from that prayers let's say we go to jari let's say we are saying our prayers at the sea when we go to have bath like the wedding morning the journey of sanskar when you're bathing the body for the funeral the prayers that you utter and then you know that god is going to come in this way it says there's no discussion that this what is happening between male and female this is the one and same they have always been together. Brahma realizing that he had been shot by the arrow of Kamdev, his own son. Kamdev says, Prabhu, please forgive me. Father, please forgive me. And Brahma says, you will be burnt by the arrow of Shiva. Do you remember that when Kamdev shoots the arrow at Lord Shiva, he's burnt ashes? Kamdev says, I have done nothing wrong. I have done my duty as the God of love, the God of season, to bring about the natural procreation between man and woman, to bring about the earning, the yearning in the heart of man and woman to come together to make the young or the next generation. I am faultless, yet I have been cursed. Show compassion to me and give me back my original form. Oh, calm down. When Lord Vishnu comes upon the earth in the form of Krishna in the Yadhu dynasty, you will be born as his son. You will enjoy a very similar beautiful body that will have the lure, the luster that you have now 
in that form, in that time, and you will enjoy that form as a son of Dwarka. Be patient, son, and you will have it. Come there, listening to this, accepted the blessing of his father. But in our discourse, you will hear that we have Gayatri, we have Saraswati, we have all these forms. What is the history of Gayatri Mata is the question that I was asked. And to get this answer, everybody, we must venture into our next text, into Padma Purana, as we go to the first Khand, chapter 16, where it talks about the acquisition of Gayatri Mata. The history behind it. Where does she come? It says, as Bhishma is speaking to Pulasya Rishi, Bhishma is asking about this Yagya that Brahma had once held. And Brahma is preparing great amount of Yagya. Lord Vishnu takes the form of Varaha to be his assistant to help him. In his body, in that form, he goes to great length. Great length to give him the assistance he needs. But something happens. It is time for Yag to start there in Pushkar, that great city where Brahma is still worshipped till this day. And tonight you're going to hear what? Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Sangstita Namastasye 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 Namo Nama Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shakti Rupena Sangstita Namastasye Namo Nama Indraye Adi Brahma Savitri Brahma Ji Ke Pasaye Yagyatam Saptarishi Karne Unke Stuti Karne Lagaye Tam Jab Savani Arapurvak Tam Priya de Saki Ati Tau Ya Devi Sarabhute Shu Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastas Ye Namastas Ye Namastas Ye Namo Nama Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai in learning about mantras, there are some rules that only when you are practicing brahmachari, you can recite these mantras. So, for example, a child is taught certain prayers. If a person accepts brahmachari lifestyle throughout adulthood, they are taught prayers that Prihasti and Van Pras cannot chant. Until such time, God bless you, you are into sannyasin or you tie big or tulsimana, meaning you renounce the sexual side of life. If a person, think about it, you know about what I'm saying. If you have prayers, if you have yagya, you prepare yourself. And one way of preparing yourself is celibacy. In a yagya where bhagavat, for example, is being done three times a day, very strict rules have to be followed. Even the Baba has to cut his hair, shave his head. If you want to do it correctly for optimum blessing, the pundit, when he arrives, you tie his hand to bind him to that Yajnishala. The person sleeps on the ground in the night, the Yajman. And he wants to get optimum blessings, so he listens to the three sessions, the seven days. And he abstains from wife, he abstains from things that we take for granted, onion, garlic, steel food, no microwave food, fresh food in the night when you might break your fast or some people do fasting throughout the seven days throughout the night throughout the day etc 
even for example when we we were children and we were being taught mantras to jari they are mantras that we issue to men mantras we issue to women for example some of the jari mantras are given to men and this could be passed over to women when they have finished when they reach to the point where the cycle is finished where they are maybe in menopause with, with all respect and then there are prayers that is taught to women for example there is a way there's a method when the girl who has no made baby the bonding cannot happen because the milk is not coming the milk is not coming so the ladies now obviously not the man the ladies now using the solid bale picker pulling from the shoulder area like my thumb like this towards where the milk will run off in the nipple saying the appropriate prayer and in that kind of jari using porcupine picker using different type of picker for different type of wounds the ladies are able to chant those jagawi those type of prayer and get those type of benefit so mantras are there they are praying now different type of ritual where you must be married in order to do it different type of yag different type of vrat different for example i know we did um when we were talking about the garbhadan sanskar when we were talking about payavrat payavrat cannot be done it cannot be conducted by a person who is not married you need the female to sit next to you in order to do that prayer in fact in our text if you if you want to see proof look at the pity and you tell me have you ever heard that for puja because i know we we sometimes do the opposite we are told that the wife's position is on the left side correct tell me if you've ever done this tell me if you've ever heard this but do you know that in our text it is said the wife is supposed to sit on the right hand side when doing certain type of ritual when certain type of done certain types of things are being done the girl sits on the right hand side yagya is one example of that if you want proof just a simple easy no 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 nothing to read look at the pitya of satya narayan swami when you look at it you will see the baby satya narayan swami standing up in the middle the fig trees and all that and there's a baby and you'll see the kalsa with the coconut which is regularly used for this type of prayer the pandit with his, little, with his little book chanting mantra but on this side now you will notice the husband and the wife but the wife is on the right hand side that is just one simple proof of this there are many examples in ramayan we hear in the front persians i cannot remember if it's told secret ramayan where when sita mata is not there a multi of sita is made to do yagya in anand ramayan mother sits with sri ram to do that ashwamedha yagya when sri ram had gained the shrap for killing a brahman 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 was a brahman and for killing him he has to do yagya and ask for forgiveness he does prashtit karma and he grows on a great amount of tirat pilgrimage so in it it is a common thing in our dharma that the wife must sit with the husband in order for certain prayer to be complete and in our discourse tonight in padma puran brahma wants to do this yagya and imagine the husband waiting by the baby and reach the section now we're looking for the wife we can't find the wife savitri send a message savitri must come now and the message was sent but when the message is sent the messenger comes back and relays what the lady had said she has not pasted on the walls decorations any emblem of the swastika or the shakti somebody asked me is the swastika batting because it was used by hitler please understand that any person use it utilizes any connotation or any mantra from hinduism doesn't make hinduism the language the sanskrit the mantra bad that was used for nefarious reasons 
just as Rawan, Kum, Kans, um, Shum Nishum, all these other characters, they use the same prayers, but they did it for bad, to conquer people. The prayers didn't become polluted by bad people. So please remember that. The swastika is not a sign of genocide or hatred or all these things. People use it for that. It's associated with that, but it is not that. Savitri Devi says, I have to decorate here the, the, the walkway with the swastika. Um, I have not cleaned those spots. The wife of Sri Hari Vishnu, the wife of Agni, the wife of Yamraj, Gauri Mata, the wife of Varun Devta, Ridhi, the wife of Kubir, the wife of Shambhu, all of them, they have not reached here yet. Where, where, how can I go there and I have to re receive all the Sakhi, all, all, the, all the Devis of the Shra, the Vibhuti, the Anusuya, Dritti, Shama, the different rivers, Ganga, all of them, Indrani, all of them, Rohini, the wife of the moon. I have to wait for them. All our daughter-in-laws, Arundhati and all others, they are still to come. Tell him, wait for me. I am waiting for them. And just as, in, as it says here, just as the lady in many homes, she's distracted. And she's not focusing on her prayer. As these ladies come, I'm going to come. Go tell Brahma to wait for me. I will be there shortly. Going back to tell Brahma this, the pundit says, the auspicious time for this work is passing. We must do something. This young girl must start. But without the lady of the family, it cannot be done. Brahma says, Indra, go upon the earth and find me somebody who can substitute Devi. And when the prayer is finished, I will send her back. Indra goes and he finds this beautiful girl that has jars of, jars of, of cow milk. She's selling cow milk. Living in a rural area, in the in the countryside, and Indra brings Indra brings this person, this person, to Brahma. Jai Bole Baba Tavasharanam. Jai Bole Baba Tavasharanam. Jai Bole Baba Tavasharanam. Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tavasharanam. Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tavasharanam. Gaitri Putri Ye Abhi. Aapan ye swai charasi Saguna swarupa dharani gandharva Sharira bhi brahm ye yatam Jai bole baba tam sharnam Jai bole baba tam sharnam Jai bole baba tam sharnam Jai saam sada shiva tam sharnam Jaya Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharanam Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai The young girl who appeared to be as a Devi herself Indra thought that she was a human form or an incarnation of Lakshmi Mata And he goes and he brings her to, to, to Brahma When she goes there, she's astonished. She's, you know, she's seeing this heavenly kind of atmosphere. And she does see that she needs the permission of her father. But then, when she sees Brahma and she sees his, his, his luster, his, you know, his power, she thinks to herself that she is so lucky that if he wants to marry me, I will marry him. I will marry him. Lord Vishnu, Looking on, Brahma says, Mahavishnu, this is the goddess known as Gayatri. She is greatly blessed. And because of her character, because of her persona today, I am going to marry her. Lord Vishnu says, marry her in the Gandharva style. Because she is feeling equal love for you. It is mutual. For this reason, 
do that type of wedding where people marry because of love. As the wedding, as the wedding is done, she is placed on the right hand side. And the father of the person of this girl arrives and he says, How did you reach here, Davy? How is it possible that you came to this place I left you tending to the fields and this is where you come? The Gandharvas had brought me here. Listen to this secret. Lord Vishnu says, Oh my dear, blessed individual because of her good conduct and devotedness to righteousness, to truthfulness, this, this Devi has been uplifted and elevated. She will be the source of blessing. As any good daughter, when she brings pride, when she brings joy to the, ho to the home of her father, generations are uplifted. For this today I can tell you, for the fulfillment of a divine mission, this is long before Lord Vishnu is incarnating, for the fulfillment of a divine mission, I will born into your family. It will be for sport and when Nand comes upon the earth, I shall come and stay with them. All the girls in that village will be able to have a piece of me. That looks like in the Ras Leela and all these things. There will be no sin, no hatred, no jealousy and all the cow herders, all those that are your family, your kinsmen, they will be able to enjoy a different type of blessing. And in this way, he gave consent that his child should be married, be allowed to be married to Brahmadevta. Principal Shriyad Shakti Mata Ki Let's hear what happens in the next slope. Jai Bole Baba Tava Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tava Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tava Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tava Sharanam Pundara Ye Dhiti Savitri Ha Ye Bhi Aati Vishnu Rudrandam Brahmananda Ye Yagya Pal Ribu Yate Dvij Yata Ti Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Bole Baba Tav Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Jai Samba Sada Shiva Tav Sharanam Umapati Mahadevaki Jai Savitri now, who is not knowing, she doesn't know Gayatri is married to Brahma. Savitri is one side waiting on all the girls to come. Lakshmi, Gauri, all of them, Indrani are coming. And now when all of them had gathered, Savitri desired to go into the place where the Yagya, into the Yagya Shala. All of them had brought sweets, offerings. Going to prayer as a wife, as somebody's wife when you are involved, with somebody and you're going to a yagya, our tradition is you walk with something towards that prayer. In doing so, you get blessings. So they all brought fruits and sweets. They had made different type of seeds, collected them and placed them like in batasa, like how we do with sesame seed. They are different recipes and you make them and they all, all these gills to fulfill, to get the blessings of their home. They walk together with this and when they walked there was this person by the door named Pundara and he updated Savitri Mata on every single thing that happened that when I came back and I told Brahma that you were busy doing this he sent Indra Indra went upon the earth and he brought back this girl she's sitting next to him her name is Gayatri when Lord Vishnu met her Lord Vishnu advised that they get married for the purpose of the Yagya to continue and it was done and now she is sitting on the left hand side of Brahma. Goddess Savitri seeing this spoke to Brahma one side and she said what is this sin that you have committed? 
what will happen here when everybody realizes that you have done wrong you have wronged me and Brahma says Devi because of the yagya I needed to have a consort without a wife this yagya could not be performed and I was guided to accept this person Indra brought her she was presented by Vishnu and I was married by the priest doing the puja may you please forgive me I will never wrong you like this again Savitri Mata and mother becomes very very angry mother loses it with all of them and this is the history that has to happen here according to Pulaska Muni she looks to Brahma and she says because of who you are no Brahman will do your worship only in the full moon day in the month of Kartik in this place called Pushkar will they worship you Indra you who went and brought somebody else here as if I am nobody you will always be beaten and dragged in all battle when you stand up to fight you will never win when he's fighting Bali when he's fighting Rawan when he's fighting everybody at some point he loses he's always insecure he's always afraid when Indra had the fight Vritra the, the cause behind the menstrual cycle the reason why we don't use certain trees with sap in them we don't use it in the Hawan the, the oozing of that liquid the fraught on the sea why we don't do certain puja in the sea these things came from this discourse when he went to fight that demon and that demon had to have mercy on him in order for him to destroy him Lord Vishnu you will be I put trap upon you you get you allow him to get married to somebody else you will go to the earth as Ram in one of your avatar and you will lose your wife and you will know what it is to lose just as how he has lost me today you will be faced with all forms of enmity you will know the pain of losing her and you will know that grief further when you go I hope all are listening to this when you go and you are born in the Yadu family and you will be called Krishna that one who a Karishana the one who can steal your mind the one who has this elusive power to cause your attention to be grabbed like that you will become the attendant of all forms of beasts and wander with these beasts for a long time what is she talking about the cow why is he a cow huda baba why did lord krishna have to be born in any form to maintain the cattle to play with the cattle why did the cow become so important listen the goddess is speaking agni devta you will become you want to help them you are becoming a witness now to this cursed marriage i curse you that you will have to consume things that are not fit for sacrifice for this reason this is where agni had now to start to accept here flesh blood all types of unfit things unclean things all of you pundits brahmanas you will have to live in the forest you will have to live the only way you're going to get freedom from sin is when you become a recluse when you give up certain things and what will you benefit from you will enjoy the food only that which is given to you from by other people when you think about Mahabrahman when we have Dashgatra the 10 days when we have the bar and the pundit come and you take out food this is where that started you will hear where it ends up and for many of you Brahmanas when it is time for you to be to be doing your final rites there will be nobody for you no one will do your final rites she storms out of that place and all the devis walk out with her but they leave her Lakshmi you leave me now listen to Ishra you leave me now you will never be able to stay in one place for too long you are very 
mobile. So have you ever heard somebody say, I lost my barcut. I get back my barcut. I lost my lachmi. I get back my lachmi. She is very movable. And if a person does not do the right thing, you're going to lose that lachmi. She can be lost. She can be regained. And further, some people said to me, Baba, it seems as if unrighteous people, the drug runners, the gun holders, the murderers, the kidnappers, these people are, 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 are flourishing. And this is where that started. She says, you will remain where the murderers, where these thieves, where the bad people, where adhermic people will live. You will remain there. Indrani, you will lose your husband. And when you lose him, you will be, let me use local word, tackle. You will be accosted by another man, the Raja Nahush. One day I'll read that discourse for you. Shiva, you who witness this and you want to see me be disposed of, you allow that to happen? May your private be fall, made fall. And this is where the lingam or the private of Lord Shiva is going to happen. Then later on in different discourse, Mother Parvati gives him shrap. And then he goes into the Darukanda forest when he Muni's put shrap on him. And that happens. The formation of that lingam. To all the devis, you are never going to know the affection of having children. It will be as if you are barren. And you will be grieving for children day and night. Gauri Mata, you are not different. You are one of them. That is Parvati Mata. Lord Vishnu tries to calm her down. And he, what does he do? He chants down. This is a prayer that is used today. To chant today. On a day like today, we did the 108 names of Savitri. You are called Vilakshmi in Varnasi. You are called Linga Dharni in Narasing. You are Lalita Devi in Prayag. Kamukha in Gad. Ganda Manda, Kumunda in Manasa Lake, Vishwakaya Ambara, Gumati in Gumanta, Kamacharani in Mandara. And like that, he chanted and he's praying the mother. 108 names to calm her down, to shanti her. Let's hear what happens. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu. Shakti Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Nama Sridhikali Savitri Atam Namya Prachit Vishnuyate Sundariye Pindaye Yati Ashta Abhigi Viprajit Yam Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatmai Namo Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatmai Namo Nama Mother, I have enumerated the 108 names of that form that God is Savitri. I have also told the names of the places where you are worshipped. He who chants, he who hears this passage is freed of all forms of sin, dear mother. The best is that person who chants this while it's in water and then submerge themselves. It is as if they are washing all the sins off of them. That individual would be saved of all sins. That person would be freed of all wrongdoing, all blame, all past sins in previous birth, etc. In this way, the best day to do this, the full moon day or the new moon day. That person whose children are in danger, dying, still birth, and in the course of life. Chant this prayer, the person who listens to it at the time when Shrad is being done, when Gaudan is being done, at the time of worship, the person reaches to the supreme state of Brahman, or the truthfulness that God, the truth nature of God. Just as Vishwamitra did, a person can attain that height. Listening, Savitri Devi, listening to the prayer of Vishnu Bhava, 
She says, son, you have properly praised me. You are unconquerable. In your incarnation, you, along with your wife, dear to your father, in that form of Christian, being free from all sins, they will be freed from any type of punishment. What is that line is she talking about? In Bhagavad discourse, when you listen to Krishna Leela, Nanda and Yashoda don't die like Devaki and Vasudev. Vasudev and Devaki die when they hear of the passing of Krishna. But long before he closes his eyes, because of the words of Savitri Mata, Krishna goes in, in, in Vindravan and he says, Mother, Father, I wish to take you to Golok. I wish to take you to Vaikun before you have to see me die and because of this blessing. They did not have to go through that, that pain. He moves them and then, then he continues to be sinking of Dwaraka, etc. Principle of Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai. Savitri Mata leaves. And Gayatri Mata, the girl that had been married to Brahma, she comes. And she says, listening to the words of Savitri, let me now bless you. Let I, the mother of the Ved, as she assumes the power in this role, the power, and she's a half of the husband, the part of the husband. She says, Endowed with devotion, blessed are those people that will turn havoc garments, greens. They will gain happiness, riches, marriage, unbroken happiness in their home, children. When they worship you on the full moon day in the month of Kartik, blessed even more is the person who makes the trip to Pushkar and they can worship you there. That person only going in Pushkar gains the blessings of you, O Brahma. Let the person worship you if they do on the full moon day. Today is the full moon day. If the person on the Pratipa day or the first day in the month, which is like a day like tomorrow, in the month of Kartik, doing worship to you, normal puja, playing instruments, on that day they make a chariot for his murti and they drag it throughout the city and puja is being done as that yatra is being offered. So great is your puja, O oh husband. Rest assured, this shrap that is given will not be full in full effect. Furthermore, when people have different desires, whether in the full moon day of Kartik, Ashwin, Chait, these days, if a person does your puja, they will gain great amount of benefits. For this reason, Raja Bali, when Lord Vishnu comes as Vaman, he had worshipped you in the month of Kartik on the full moon day. And that person was be, he was able to become a great conqueror. On listening to these words, a person can attain salvation in this world by having the viewpoint of worshiping you, dear husband. When you will be arrested by enemies, O Indra, having gone to the abode of the enemy, I bless you today that one day they will free you. You will always be free, you will always set loose. And if you listen to all your discourses, as you pay attention to all the bowers and all that, Indra is locked up by Ravan for a time, and then he's free. Indrajit, or Indrajit, is the first son of Ravan, and he's the one who beats Indra and brings him and chains him and locks him up. And then one day he lets him out, lets him free. And there are many examples of that, starting with the blessing of Gayatri Mata. Due to the destruction of your enemy subsequently you coming back, you will always regain your city without any big set of vexing or any major effort. You will always be done. Lord Vishnu, I bless you. I as Gayatri Consort of Brahma bless you. you. When you take incarnation upon you, you will have with you your brother. And yes, you will suffer great grief due to the kidnapping of your wife. You will, however, destroy the enemy. Rescue your wife in the presence of all the deuters and having her being governed in your city, in your place, in your realm, you will be happy again. And after 11,000 years ruling as Raja Ram, you and Devi will return to the heavenly regions. Fear not. Fear not. O oh, Mahavishnu, I bless you with that grace. 
Then Managaitri turns to Shiva and says, those people that will worship the lingam or your genitalia that has been fall, fell upon the earth, even though this fallen being purified because of the Devi holding it. Remember we talked about the lingam and the base is the Shakti. That state when men get by worshipping your lingam cannot be had by simply doing hawan or offering obligations into the hawan, vrat, etc. Those who in the early part of the morning get up and worship a lingam with the bay leaf, they enjoy the world of Rudra. Do you remember the first verse in the Bilva Ashtakam? It comes from here. If a person offers the three strands, the three parts that represent the three sprangs of the threshold, the three sat satvic, rajasic, tamasic, that person lives in the house, into the realm of Rudra, Rudra Lok, Shiv Lok. Agni Devta, you too get in the status of a devotee of Shiva, you become the purifier. There is no doubt that when you are pleased, all the devotees are pleased because you will become like a male man. Somebody hand Agni Devta something, carry this for Indra, carry this for all our ancestors, and he, he delivers like FedEx in heaven. He's delivering. No doubt you are the one that will please all the devotees. Offerings that are received by you, only you could take it to all the devotees. Certainly, when you are pleased, there's going to be happiness throughout this place. For this reason, in all puja, some fire must be invocated. In all wedding, it cannot be done without that fire. When you go to funeral, watch them as they inv invocate just before the pyre. Well, even if they do it even if you're using the, 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 um, the crematorium. They invite Kraviyar Agni to come there, a form of Agni that takes unclean matter. Then Gayatri speaks to all the Brahmanas. Don't mind you have to live off different type of gifts and different types of good that people give. Even the food, you will accept it and you will not gain any type of sin or damnation from this. In fact, you will give blessing. This is why when you go and you give Guru Dakshna, you give Pandiji, food stuff, people might have a tomato tree in the yard, Baba, we want to give you two tomatoes. They know in their heart, based on texts like this, and a Brahman that has the Janeum, that chants the guy tree, that is knowledgeable of texts like this, he is called Prithvi Dev. Prithvi Devta, the God, the Devtas upon this earth. When you sit for puja on the baby, you have Lingam, Lord Shiva, Shaligram, Lord Vishnu. But the Pandit is the Brahma in that ritual. For this reason, you worship Babaji when you're doing his prayer. And therein comes the blessing. For you alone, by accepting the gifts of an individual, then they will get the blessing that they are looking for. You will all be purified by practicing pranayama, doing japa and so on. The oh best of the brahmanas, you will not incur sin for receiving the gifts from people when you bathe and you mutter the name of the mother of the Ved. When you bathe, when you bathe, remember I tell you sometimes, the best time for me to do jab is in the shower. When you bathe and you mutter the name of the Ved is the name of the mother of the Ved is Gayatri Mata. And you chant Gayatri Mantra. When all the devotees are happy because you are eating in a person's home, a pundit comes to your home because he's chanting Gayatri Mantra as you are listening. This is why we wash their feet, we want the dust from their foot, and then you'll see the person, maybe a little terrier or whatsoever, sprinkling it. The puja is started. Please purify my home, Gayatri Mata. When the pundit sits down and he's sprinkling the water, Om Ganga Shtray Godavari, Saraswati Narmada, and he's calling all the rivers, auspicious places, please purify this place. Second place is when he does that. And the third place, because this individual is considered Prithvi Dev, he is called to eat in your home, as they would say, Jutta, in your home. And when this person eats, it is said in Valmiki Ramayana when Sri Rama and Sita Mata had received Brahmanas in their in their in their kutia, they started to take out little food. Sita Mata in the forest, you know, it humid, it sweated. And when she went to take out the food for this particular Brahman, she backs away like this and she ran to the bushes without saying another word. 
Sri Ram didn't cause no alarm. He continues to be the host and he feed and he take care of everybody. When everybody departed and was just two of them alone again, he says, Devi, why did you abandon me? She says, on that Brahman, on the senior Brahman, I saw on the right hand side, my father-in-law, and on the left hand side, an older fella, and he had a big beard, white beard. He says, that is my Aja, that is the father, that is Dashrat, my father, and Dashrat's father. She says, but they had never seen me sweaty and, you know, my bosom and everything. Um, in this kind of clothes, they are custom, you know, the regal sari and all these things. For this reason, the Brahman is when he is fed in shrad, in any type of shrad, nandimuk shrad, etc., tripindi shrad, etc. The soul that is in roaming stage, pras, um, prayed form, they sit upon the Brahman and this is why you take out food and from the leaf where they take out the little jutta, the little chana, chana roti, whatever is the, on the menu, from the jutta of the leaf, people that committed suicide, they get to eat from that. This is where the ladies then is come and pick up the little bit. And when you finish and you wash the hand like this, the Brahman, because he's chanting Gaitri, he then, when he sprinkles, have you ever seen me do this when I come at your house? Sprinkling little water, Jai Vishnu, saying mantra, saying Gaitri mantra, sprinkling the home. So that the home must have who? Lakshmi Mata. Be purified. Be protected. All devotees are happy when you are fed. When one Brahman is fed, the word it, it uses here is crowds, mirrors. Many of the ancestors are satisfied and fed. Men destroy all the sins of, of Brahmatya or the, the murder of a Brahman, other bad deeds. When they take Dakshna, their hard earned money and they place it into the hand of their Guru. When that person who does the three Sandhya worship does dawn, midday, and dusk in the evening, the three times, using Gayatri, you will destroy all sins committed. In different ages, in different existences, by chanting that mantra, it will set you free. Why does the pundit get sin? Let me explain this. Why do you give us sina? Why do you give the dollar in the RT when we have yagya? Pundit is basically, and I'm using basic words, basically helping you cheat. Follow my logic. I went to a yagya and I, it's not my prayers, I'm just a guess. And Baba was explaining something I never heard before. So I have learned something. When I learn something, it means maybe when I touch my hand, maybe I'll light the prayer, maybe I would not blow the incense like some people do, it's not correct. So I learned the correct way to do things. So my prayer now is going to be better. I just heard when I get up in the morning, I should offer water with a bay leaf on the lingam. Somebody's going to improve in their prayer method. So now when you start to improve, you're going to curtail the karma that is supposed to happen. But I don't want that sin. I don't want to cheat destiny. You don't want Baba? Look at Dala. This is for you. Thank you for the knowledge. I don't owe you. Accept that. And now the sin, as they say, the Baba does take your sin. has some truth to that. The sin, when we lift the seed out with all the grains and all these things, you take it. Not only pundit is do that. When you go to the Dashkatra, when they're doing the 10 days ritual, they give the now. The now is the Hindi word for the person who cuts your hair, that kind of bhava. You cut your nails, and when you're done, please accept the seed take the sin. When you go to a wedding and they do the same thing, you cut your nail and fix the nail, all right, all right, accept this payment and take the sin. When you go to the uh, Mundan Sanskar, one year birthday of the baby and they're going to cut the hair and this is where we just put it in the govar when they make the little knots. And they bury it, the next step is to pay the now. And they give, they give the now a sida, dakshna, to say, you take the sin. You have helped me do this, that and the other. And for doing that, you have helped me my worship. My worship is better. And because you now have done this, you took that good. For this reason, the pundit now will take some of the grains, some of the material, and offer it in the fire, saying Gayatri Mantra. And in this way, the pundit evades based on mother's actions. When you chant Om, 
which is the combination of the three Ved, Rig, Sam, Yajud Ved, comprising of that one syllable and the eight syllables in the Gayatri meter. I am gay. I am the mother of the Vedas. I am that Gayatri. And by muttering my name with devotion, you will be able to overcome all forms of sin. This is the power. This is the power of the Gayatri. Given this boon, that Brahman devoted to the maintenance of the fire and sacrifice, worship, Sunday worship, they attain the heavenly returns. Not only them, but 21 generations. This is why I always say, whenever you're choosing your pundit to do your ritual, make sure it's a person that is chanting Gayatri. Without that Gayatri, that person cannot help you. That person is unable to help himself overcome sin and trouble and burden because they don't know sadhana, they don't know worship. Now if you want to bring somebody to help you, make sure the doctor have a doctor certificate. Make sure the mechanic have the, the right training. Make sure the electrical person has the electrical certificate. And likewise, make sure the pundit that is doing the ritual has been initiated with the Janeu, one of the major steps of that Janeu Sanskar or the Yagyu Pavi is the initiation into the Gayatri Mantra. When that Pandit utilizes that Gayatri Mantra, it becomes part of him. This, 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 this string that we wear upon our chest, if we are at the toilet, there is a way, all respect, there is a way to, to fix the string. When husband and wife come together to make children, for example, is the truth, there is a way to when you how you wear it, when you have to do shroud, when somebody in your family dies, there are rules. And what makes it potent? Gayatri. Gayatri Mata. Having thus blessed all those Indra, Vishnu, Rudra, Fire, Brahma, Brahmanas of Pushkar, Gayatri Mata remained on the side of Brahma. And then she went on to bless Lakshmi. You are going to be praiseworthy. And because you bring Wealth in different forms, money, happiness, family life, financial wealth. You will be the delight to all your children. And people will look for you. People will seek after you. They want to have your favor. They want to be born in noble families with, as we say, the gold spoon. Naturally being born with Lakshmi as your ish gives you a certain amount of happiness. You will be able to grant these things to people and you will encourage all your children to maintain themselves so that they would be able to maintain you in part and parcel of your life. She turns to Indrani. When Raja Nahush takes the Indrahood, soon after he will receive a shrap and he will turn to a snake as per this discourse. When he becomes a serpent, you will become free and your husband will become free from his jailment and he will be able to be returned. Savitri has granted you that, that separation from husband, but it will be short-lived. Pulastra says all the other devis were standing there. But she says to them, even though you will have no children, this is why we don't see Devis and devutas having children because of this. Gauri Mata, by the grace of Krishna, you will have, by the grace of Skan Mata, the story of how Kartik comes, the story of how Ashok Sundari comes, the story of how Mangal Devta comes, the story of how Buddha Devta, all these different forms. Ayapa. In India and South India, they believe Ayapa is another form of um, a child of Lord Shiva. You will have children, but it is as if she's a foster mother, a stepmother. She did not naturally, biologically make them. But there is discourse. When Skan Mata, that form of Durga, where she has five heads, she is the one who caretakes of Skan. In this way, do not grieve. You will be contented and you will be happy. Who is the first person to worship Gayatri Mata? Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva says, Mother, we bow to you, Mother of the Ved, purifier of all people, not only Brahmanas, but all people. 
people who have all forms of sin, people who have all forms of background, people who have lost their way. Mother, blessed are you that when they chant your eighth syllable gantry job, they will be able to get move, movement in an upward form. You will have different faces, mother. You will have different elements in your hands. But ma, your children will know you as one and the same. Lord Shiva gives loose now a secret. As Pulasya Muni says to Bhishma, Savitri and Gayatri are that same Devi. Let's hear it here now. In our last verse, Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Yenamu Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Yenamu Nama Gaitriya Karani Dvijata Dvijakaya Yam Dvijayat Chayat Yeatam Vishwayerudra Shritavalaya Sadhana Narayanaya Krishnaya Paramatma Yenamu Nama Narayanaya Krishnaya he says, Mother, you are the one who is the true forgiver. When a person makes mistake, let's say, let's go back to the beginning of our discourse. When you have puja and you, your mouth this is something when you do for the prayers, we just go and pick the nibli, but we just forget to ask the tree, we know he marks the owner. We just say, well, you know, it's for prayers. But is it yours to offer? No. So it became as if it were thief. It was stolen. So when you do that, you are committing a crime. Please explain that to children when they're picking their leaves. Maybe you know the, the morning for the prayers, the time somebody go curse or tell a lie. Yeah, ma, go on and be that ready. Something like that. So, mother, you are the true form of forgiveness because when a person has made mistakes through your chanting, when they call on you, oh ma, you who are the source of all Vedic knowledge, from you it emanates. Mother, a person is able to rise above. When a person has Till land. When a person is the agriculturist and they want the right plant, they must put the right seed. And you chanting your mantra, that Gayatri mantra, this is the seed of goodness. It is the seed of forgiveness. When a person on the Shravan month, in the bright half, the full moon today, celebrates you by doing the different names of Savitri, by doing the different job of Gayatri, doing all these things, then Mother, they are going to wash away sins, not only from this, but from before. If a person needs to overcome sickness, like we all fight in COVID right now, you want to overcome fear, the sin that brings that type of pain to a person. Why do bad things happen to good people? Always remember, karma. When you want to overcome that karma, just as we heard in the beginning, Om Burgo Aswa, Maybe swaha. Yam is that beach mantra, the seed of Varun Dutta. There's Gayatri mantra, Om, um, Om Bimbala Vitmahi, Jala Bimbaya Vitmahi, Nilaya, Purushaya Dimahi, Tano Varun Prachodaya. And the prayer know it better than me. That Varun Gaitri is used when people want to control when they have water problem, when you're retaining water or edema in their body, swollen foot and so on. When they have diabetic problems, when the diabetes is overcoming the person, they use the Varun Mantra. There is prayer where he is called Arham. And this is just one example I'm using. We spoke about Hanuman Baba Gaitri before. Now I'm using Varun Dutta as an example. When these mantras, these, let's say the recipes 
when you have a problem, you want a prescription, you go to the doctor and he gives you, okay, take this tablet and call me tomorrow. Likewise, you do this sadhana using these type of mantras. And a person in this example could overcome diabetes. You get up for the three sandhya and you chant them a hundred and eight times. And your body starts to regulate the water as you're falling on volume, the embodiment of water to calm down. When people have sperm count problems, when not only because you, your, your sperm count is low, but if your motility, if the cells in the man's body is not making sperm, they use the guide free mantra of Varun Deuta where yum is put at the end. Or they could use om yum 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 bodha bhuva swa, etc. We heard today where we use the Lakshmi Gayatri in Bombur Boswa Dat Savitor Varinyam Vargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodaya Shring Swa. And in doing so, the, the blessings of Vira Lakshmi, Sabhagya Lakshmi, Griha Lakshmi, Adi Lakshmi, all these things are possible. When a person is afraid, you have different tendencies to have panic attack. You know, your breathing problem because you're frightened. I hear quick crack old ten and bandit coming for me. Vira Lakshmi. Griha Lakshmi. When I want happiness, peace, harmony in my house. Lakshmi Mata. And why is she so mobile? Why is she so movable? Because of what we heard tonight. The last part, Lord Shiva says, Reveal the truth to me, Mother. And Savitri stood next to Gayatri. And their bodies merged as they were the one and same. O oh, son, what you have said, or Rudra, she's calling him son. What you have said will come to pass. People will use this mantra if they only know about it. Only give this knowledge to those people who need it. And I think everybody needs it now. If this is the first time you're hearing this discourse, please send me a note, send me something. Give me your thoughts. Are you going to use your guide tree? Or are you something or somebody that this prayer, this discourse was wasted on? Please share this discourse so you would have the blessings of sharing this with your family, friends, anybody. Let us get the words of our Dharma out there. People sometimes complain, pundits are not doing enough, they're not trading enough. The truth is, in our Dharma, you have to go searching for it. I'm just breaking the rules a little bit by providing the teaching. Hoping to entice you to learn a little more. Come join my WhatsApp group. Come join the ashram. And just as we were doing good yesterday, we'll do good again. Just as your children need some help, we can help them. And just as you need to understand your dharma, trust me, there is text that could guide you. There is information in our books that explain a lot about it. And tonight in this one discourse, as we come to the end of our prayer, as we come to the end of our prayer, we have understood some of the intricacies of our discourses. Why, why don't we worship? Why don't we worship Brahma? Why isn't he one of the mainstream form? Why does he have five heads? Do you remember in the beginning, Savitri Mata is walking around him and he created a head to keep his eye on him. We heard the names of the five faces of Gayatri Mata. So much had come out in this one discourse i hope if you're looking back on youtube please take your time and follow and read and expose it to others if you are watching me on youtube subscribe to my channel so you will be able to get more and more knowledge if you are searching like vishwamitra and you want to have that salvation you want to have that goal you know there are four wealths in this world dharma earth calm moksha dharma is the principles the doing not only you know i don't want to do wrong but dharma is the roles that we have to play and we want to do it correct daughter be a good daughter sister be a good sister be a good employee be a good employer art the riches the, the what you attain the land the property the money the good things a beautiful wife a beautiful husband an honest husband calm the relationships that we share, not only sexual, but the attainment of children, the attainment of grandchildren, the joy that that brings. But the real wealth is those things. Dharma leads to moksha, calm and atarva that ties a person into the samsara a little more. It keeps you here. 
It doesn't keep you going to God. While suppose you might pray for money, while suppose you might pray for family, dear God, save my family, save my son, etc. That is possible. And there is a school at all that believes that because of these things, a person can use the money they attain to do good and charitable things, and that's true. But it's so it's so dangerous to become so attached to children, to become so attached to the money, to become greedy, and your life becomes money. That when you do dharma, that is the safest way to reach the mukti, liberation. Everybody, join your hands. Let's say some prayers. When we get up in the morning. Karage Vasate Lakshmi, Karamade Saraswati, Karamule to go Vinda, Prabhate Karadharshanam. Remember when you get up in the morning and you're praying to Mother, Karadharshanam is when you're doing this and you're looking in your hands and you're praying to the Mother that gives the lines, the Mother that guides you through the day, the Mother that prays. That you pray to for blessings and in this way when a person does it remember that's the prayer i'll send it out on the group that's the prayer for you to up yourself lift yourself let's pray a little bit tonight as we do some verses tied to this guy if you tie to this god hurry oh Ayatu Varade Devi Aksharam Brahma Samhita Gaitri Chanda Sammata Idam Brahm Jushwa May Mother Gaitri, the fulfiller of desires, come to reveal to us the principle of the Supreme God, the truth of this thing. May the Mother of the Ved, the rhythm of that Ved, instruct us on Brahman, the truth. The highest divine principle. Yad anat kruva papan tada nyar pratim pratim uchayate yad ratra kruyate papam tad ratra pratim uchayate. May that universal mother, may Gayatri Mata, we meditate upon you, mother. May you relieve us of the burden of sin. He that do this rainy day, he that calls on you at night. All the sin that we accumulate in the day, all the sin that we accumulate in the night, Mother, by your blessings, let it go. Let us be forgiven. Sarvani Mahadevi Sanya Vidya Saraswati Aghare Amare Devi Sarva Devi Namos today. May that Goddess Saraswati, who is same Gayatri, same um, Savitri, composer of all the letters. This is why she has the books in her hand. That Goddess esoteric worship at the twilight hours at the Sunday hours, bless a person with agelessness, bless a person with healthiness, eternal good goddess of goodness. Salutations to you. Hari Om Gayatri Aham Avahitam Savitri Avahitam Sav Saraswati Avahitam Chandrase Mavahitam Shriyam Avahayami Balam Avahitam May Mother Gayatri, we call upon you. You are the sources of all creation. I invite you into my heart, into my body. You are the embodiment of wisdom. I call upon you in my heart. I invoke you in all your different meters, in the different ways we chant prayers. In all the sages, I call upon you in my heart. You are the wealth of this universe, but I, I worship you. You are the energy inside the living, what makes something living. You are the energy inside all living beings. I, ins I invite you into my heart and body, my mind, and meditate upon you, O Gayatri Mata. Om Gaitra Gaitri Chanda Vishwamitra Rishi Savita Devata Agni Mukham Brahma Sharid Vishnu Hidayam Rudra Sikha Prithvi Yoni Pranaya Papan Koshan Vyana Dana Saman Prapan Swatik Varana Sankhya Vana Sagotra Gaitri Chatur Mukham Tripadya Satakusha Pancha Veda Vinayoga The presiding deuta of the Gaitri Mantra has fire as her face, has Brahma as her head, Vishnu in her heart, Shiva is the is her looks, her good looks, her happiness, the energy that makes a person attractive. The planet, the planet Earth, Prithvi Mata is in her womb. She manifests as life energy in all aspects, all the different vital energy, the pranaya, apanaya, vanaya, udanaya, samanaya, the sub prana, naga, kurma, krikrala, 
Devdata, Damjaya, all these are her organs of perception. Mother, we bow to you, Mother. We bow to you in all the different directions. Mother, tonight, as we do your worship, Macha Putam Kuru Dare Na O Asmi Tvam Sueshwari Asam Samo Soma Mandale Kurumanasya Skanda Upavis Asmin Mother Earth Purify Me Goddess Gayatri Salutations to you I am that mother who is seated on the lotus flowers whose face is circular like the moon we bow to you Prem Samaro Shri Gayatri Mata Ki Jai For just a little bit as part as part of our Gayatri Jayanti celebrations put your hands together after listening to all these different things maybe you would forget some but the blessing of doing virtual you can go back when it's loaded on YouTube you can go back on Facebook and listen to it tomorrow if only you have the karma to listen to this discourse, to remember it and to understand it. It was a lot that we unpacked it from Padma Puran, that we unpacked it from the, the Gayatri Sanghita, the Masya Puran, all these things coming together. Let us now complete our prayer by saying Gayatri Mantra ten times. Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prajodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Om Buddha Bhuvaswa Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ki Jai Tonight as I conclude, as I wrap up now, as we're nearly out of time, I hope you learned something. I hope you could leave me a comment. I want to hear from where are you looking on. What did you learn? What, what were your thoughts? Communicate with me. That feedback is important. Then I pray that God bless you, that you have the strength and the mind to share the satsang. Let other people learn and listen. Let them learn something. And by doing that sharing, you get blessings. As always, everybody, from me and Mommy and Baba, may God bless you. Know that we love you and this is why we do these things. These different nights of satsang that we do, it's simply because we want to teach you something. I hope you are making use of these moments. Let's draw away our hands as we do final prata. Dear Lord, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you for the time to sit down and do these type of discourses. If your children heard this for the first time, dear God, bless them and imbibe within them the knowledge. About Gayatri Mata and her mantra, her history and her power. Allow, invigorate them to chant Gayatri when they're having their shower in the morning, when they're getting ready to leave to go to work, when they're going to school, in the car, at work, they're going to let Gayatri become part and parcel of their daily routine. Together everybody, Twameva Mata Chapita Twameva Twameva Bandu Chasaka Twameva Twameva Vidya Dravinam Twameva Twameva Sarvam Amadeva Deva 
त्वमेव सर्वा मम देव देवा ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम प्रेम सवलो महापति महादेव की जय श्री आर शक्ति माता की जय श्री गायत्री माता की जय महापति महादेव की जय पवन सुद हनुमान की जय बांगे बिहारी लाल की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय 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 श्री राम फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ अस यार आश्रम फ्रॉम मम्मी बाबा प्रिया माता एंड सेल्फ और हैव अ सेफ टाइम अ गुड वीक अहेड This week, this Sunday, is Krishna Janam. Another wonderful discourse, different discourse. Trust me, it won't be boring. So that you will learn a little more about your God, just a tidbit, just a morsel. Until then, God bless you. See you tomorrow.